In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Christ is risen. Begin by reading Acts chapter 6, verses 1 to 7, and then Mark chapter 15, verses 43 to chapter 16, verse 8. You'll notice that in the Gospel there were certain practical things that needed to be done. Joseph of Arimathea attended to the immediate burial of Jesus Christ. He had to buy a shroud, he had to go and see Pontius Pilate, he had to take down the body of Christ, arrange for it to be taken to the tomb, and he had it sealed within that tomb with a large rock. The women disciples, Mary and Mary and Salome, who had served Jesus Christ and had gone around with him, not only observed that entombment by Joseph, but also formed a committee and bought spices and perfumes to complete the rites of burial. In their eagerness to serve the Lord, they had forgotten some practicalities, principally who was going to remove the stone which was too heavy for them to move. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verses 1 to 7, we also hear of needful service directly to the Lord. The Apostles, the Twelve particularly, who devoted themselves to prayer and preaching, needed people who would attend to practicalities. The daily distribution of food to widows, as an example. They chose seven men to do this. It's worth stopping for a moment and just considering who all these people were. Joseph of Arimathea. He's rich, he's powerful, he's respected, he's faithful, he's courageous. And it might be worthwhile pointing out that he's male. He has everything to lose by this act of love for Christ. In so many ways, he's the last person you would expect to do this. And he does it in a very public way. He has to go to Pontius Pilate and beg for the body. This is not a secret burial. It's one done in the full public gaze. It's a little bit like, maybe in our culture now, somebody from the House of Lords or a member of the Cabinet attending the burial of a terrorist. And you have to remember that the Lord had been crucified, really, for claiming to be a king, or rather, that's the trumped-up charge. The women. These women had been there all along. When the men had run off, they remained. They took their courage into their hands, and they stayed by the cross, and they watched to see where Jesus' body was entombed. And then, whilst the men were all still hiding, they went off and they bought spices and they returned to the tomb. It's actually a very dangerous thing to have done. They were at risk from many things. Lawless men, Roman soldiers, and of course the wrath of the high priest and the rest of the Sanhedrin. The seven deacons they're an interesting bunch as well, because they all have Greek names. They have been chosen to look after the Hellenists, the Greek widows. Um, there's a lot to say about what that means, but just keep that in mind for a moment. They were slightly to one side of the rest of the Christian community, and their job was one of service within that Christian community. Their courage, their dedication, is shown in Acts by Stephen's martyrdom and by the deacon Philip's conversion 
of the Ethiopian high official. Now, these apparently menial and unglamorous acts of service turn out to be really vital. Joseph of Arimathea is known throughout Christendom for providing for the entombment of Christ and for sealing him there in the tomb. The women disciples, their observation of what happened was absolutely vital in saying, yes, Christ was put into this particular tomb by this particular man. And of course, these murderers are and were the very first witnesses of the resurrection of Christ. The deacons, they saw the power of God working within the world from their humble position. And the deacon Stephen, we are told, saw heaven opened and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. So if you find yourself down on your knees scrubbing the floor in church or doing other difficult, unglamorous, is that a word? Unglamorous, hidden, dangerous, thankless, repetitive, dull, inconvenient, controversial, messy jobs. Don't forget that your sisters and brothers before you are remembered forever. They witnessed the resurrection. They saw heaven opened and their spirits were received by Christ himself. Your prayers. God bless you. Christ is risen. Amen.